Let's return here to Indy, where it has been just a gorgeous day. It certainly has. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now. Um, and the weekend, the weekend was a little chilly, so this is a nice mm -hmm. break. Mainly in the mornings and nights, um, a little on the chilly side. But chilly, we're, we're dropped down to the 40s, right? Yeah. Um, now, our afternoons, they've been mild in the 50, upper 50s, low 60s. Today was a mid-60 degree day. Mm. Tomorrow, it gets cooler because we have a lot of rain coming our way. Uh oh What time? Tomorrow, on and off in the morning, okay. north of Interstate 70, once we get past noon, uh, we'll see more widespread rain. Could okay. Big yeah. drops or little just, drops? Just um, <laughs> yeah. Just, okay. Just Specific, let you guys yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I was just about to dive into the Sorry, forecast, but I apologize. have to give it to you first. Yep. Um, all <laughs> I was right. just following Phil. I don't know. Rain. Let's talk about rain. Okay, let's do that. Yes. <laughs> Happy Monday, everyone. Um, rain. Okay, so for the month of April, I'm sure you heard me say this a few times, we should have a little over four inches. We have six and a half. Our wettest month, um, October 2021, was about seven, almost eight inches of rain. I think it's possible that we get there. When we start talking about the wettest April, you get over eight inches. Any way, shape, or form, we're going into the record books with this rain um, because we have several chances of rain and a lot of the month left to receive rain. Outside right now, it's quiet and we're dry. We've been dry today as we look at the temperature trend. 63 for Indy, 62 as we look to the north in Kokomo, 66 for South Bend. Most of us in the 60s today and winds that have been breezy today. Most of the breezy conditions sat north of Interstate 70 today and still seeing some wind um, sit there now. 23 miles per hour as you're looking into Chicago and to Gary there. Tonight, temperatures go from the 60s to the 50s. Clouds actually increase over the area ahead of our next chance of rain. So we become mostly cloudy tonight. Mostly cloudy skies and temperatures that will fall to the 40s. I'm going to start you out here at around 4 a.m. where we see showers develop here. Four to six showers isolated north of Interstate 70. Here we go answering Phil's question. Um, isolated showers, I would say, before noon north of Interstate 70. And then after the lunch hour, we start to see rain for Indy and areas along Interstate 70. And during the evening commute, widespread rain for most locations across the state with some heavier downpours. The good news here, I'm not expecting some Severe weather. I'm just expecting rain, heavy and steady at times, and rain, a lot of it, gusty winds and temperatures that are cooler because we struggle to warm with all of the rain. Now, it is our wet day on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we start to dry out, which is fantastic news, and we also start to cool down, which is not so fantastic. Tomorrow, Temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s for most locations along and north of Interstate 70. A little warmer south as you are less likely to see rain early. And by the time the rain gets to you, you've already hit your high temperature for areas south of the Bloomington Columbus line. Cooler air settles in for us not only on your Tuesday, but even cooler on Wednesday. On your Tuesday morning, upper 40s, upper 50s by afternoon, and temperatures will peak there right around 60 degrees. On Wednesday, 58 is the high. We're dry with a mix of sun and clouds, but we're also quite breezy on your Wednesday. Hensley Legal Group, eight day forecast. Temperatures falling to the 50s on Wednesday by Thursday, warming back up and seeing the temperature trend remain warmer to the weekend. The weekend looks warm, but it also looks active with several rounds of showers and thunderstorms.